All right, John, thank you for coming on. It means a lot to us, it means a lot to our viewers. Uh, we are all trying to figure out how we could have been so wrong about how the company was doing. In February, when the stock was at 30, we did believe that $1.60 for next year was reasonable. That's down from two. We did believe that uh, power was very strong. Okay. We did believe that there were very big synergies in power. We did believe that it was a demonstration of your earnings power that you could give back $30 billion. In retrospect, what happened at the board level, say, where they do decide about capital allocation dividend, that people could have been so wrong about how you were really doing? Well, let, me, let me deconstruct the uh, 2017 sure. number first, the $1.60 number you said. So, we're down around a dollar five, a dollar ten from a dollar sixty. Fifteen to twenty cents of that really is a uh, decline in the power and oil and gas segments that I would say uh, was not foreseen at the time points that you referenced. We've got about uh, another twenty to twenty-five cents change in our restructuring. We've taken a lot of cost actions right. in the company this year that were not contemplated then. Uh, I'm moving very aggressively on that. We've got restructuring charges that weren't anticipated, and we had a write-down of our, our power conversion business. So there's some uh, charges there. And then a little bit around tax and some things about share buyback. So the bulk of this is a power and oil and gas issue, weekend markets, and then some other things that we've taken since then. So there's, there's with respect to the discussion, we constantly are going back and forth about the, the businesses and how they're doing. And, that was, I'd say, not foreseen some of the things that have happened here. So we have not managed the power business as well as we should have. That is totally on us, and we'll do that going forward. What will you do in terms of restoring the company's credibility? You know, you're shrinking the board. Obviously, the board was too yes. big. Adding three board members whose names we don't know. We don't know who's going to stay and who's going to go. I understand what you said about health care, but I think health care had very honest accounting. I'm not saying the other accounting was dishonest. I'm saying it was opaque. So what do you tell the board about what the company's really going to earn? And what does the board tell you? Or do you need to replace many members of the board who really either got had, and that's okay, because sometimes we just get had, or simply believed far too much and may still believe and don't belong on the board of an esteemed company that really represents everything that is good about America? So first, I'd say uh, there's no accounting issue. Second is no one's been had. So I just take issue with those comments right out of the gate. Well, I've been had. I, I, February, in February of, not, of, of this year, Jeff Immel came on my show and I got Jim, listen, I'm, I'm really focused on the company going forward. You ask questions that, with John. I absolutely believe that, and I'm sorry to interrupt, and that's rude. Yeah. But I, I think that the notion that we weren't had with the stock at 30 and the stock at 17 just kind of says what I'm, I most fear, which is that it's okay. I would have preferred you to say, Jim, you know what? We didn't get the straight story, and the straight story is bad because that's that's honor. Jim, I've been completely transparent in the time I've been in the job of what the issues are with the company and what I'm doing to fix them. That is my perspective. That's where I am right now. That's how I'm going forward. That's what you would expect of me. And I think we've been quite clear about where we have underperformed and how we fix that. So going back to the past is, is not productive for me. I'm focused on going forward. Yeah. And you would expect that right now. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.